Yeah. Holy cow! Someone just broke the course record at McQuaid. Look it up. Look it up. I got it. I got it. What's I got it. it. What was the time? What was the time? I can't find it. It's fourteen twelve. All right, dude. Cool. Thanks, man. Hey, who was it? Who was it? We gotta tweet. There's this. No name. We gotta tweet this. Who no was name. it? It was me, Noah Apple. Oh, what's up, Noah? How you doing? How you doing? Hold, hold up, hold up. This oh, girl's shoot. record. Girl's record at McQuaid too. Who? Who? Who got it? Who got it? What, hey, what was the time? I got you. Six ten twenty eight. Nice job. Thanks. 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 Yeah, what's up? I'm Billy. You're watching Run Junkie presented by New Balance. Where were we at this weekend? McQuaid invite. It was fire. It was crazy. Unreal. Bunch of course records. Jess Lawson. She ran a 1628 set of course record. But she's not the only person set a course record. Someone that's gonna be in this locker room next year broke a course record. That's right, my boy Noah Apple the ran 14-12 at McQuaid to smash his own course record. Smoked his course record, but he also demolished Mickey Burke's record that was set two or three years back. I'll be back. Arrow, here we are, Carmelo Anthony Center, Syracuse University. Last year, March Madness, they came out of nowhere, made it all the way to the Final Four. Someone else that came out of nowhere this year, Alex Mayer. He's killing it, he continues to kill it. In Texas, he lost by two seconds to Reed Brown, two seconds to David Bernal, and just this weekend, two seconds to the best Sam Worley. Are you kidding me? When's this kid gonna end? 1443, you killing it, Alex. Next we go over to the Great American Cross Country Festival. What happened? Two of the best runners in the whole entire country, Brody Hastings, DJ Principe. Unreal, course record, Brody Hastings won. He ran a 1432, but so did DJ. You won by this much. That much, that much is two tenths of a second. What? One of the closest races of the year, two best runners, woo! What else happened this weekend? Stanford invite happened this weekend. Mike Renault, Cooper Tier, two of the best in California, facing off, what happened? Cooper tier, smoked him, course record, beat him by 10 seconds. Got him! Got him! Moving on to Texas, McNeil invite, had some more fast times. Ashton Enzi ran a 1650 for the win. She beat Julia Haymack 1704. But their race wasn't even the fastest of the day as freshman London Colbreth ran the fastest Smoky. time of the day. Come on, bro. She ran the fastest time of the day. She ran 1648. She's only a freshman, are you kidding me? There she is, she's fast. Woo! One of the biggest names in girls high school track and field opened up on the cross country course this weekend. You know her, Kate Murphy. She won Great American Cross Country Festival in 1711. Beat everyone else in the field by 10 seconds. Good open for you, Kate. Waiting to see what she else has in store. We're going back to the state of Texas to wrap things up here. Cause we're gonna talk about two more huge things that happened. David Bernal ran Desert Twilight and broke the course record in 1445. That 1445 was a speed rating of 191, so he's starting to get up with the top in the country. David Bernal, watch out for him. We also got to talk about those killer killer girls they took down. South Lake Carroll by four points. They were not even expected to do that. That bumps them into our top 25 rankings at number 10. Killer killer girls keep killing it. I think that's a wrap from us. Make sure you tune in next weekend as we head to the Manhattan Invite. We're gonna go check out New York City, Manhattan. We're gonna get some stuff from the Don Bosco team, CBA team, North, North Rockland. It's gonna be great. Make sure you catch up everything you need to know about this weekend, next weekend at milesplit.com. Boom! Boom. Bye. Hop in that window, I got places to go.